Black Light, The Journey Within. Those brothers and sisters that are arguing amongst themselves, beefing, debating and beefing, who got the right, the religion, who, you know, has the uh, most accurate facts. This is how you're going to judge that. For example, I was looking at the science guy talking about melanin, the sun. Really, he was talking about the sun. And he gave a spot where he was putting on sun, sun lotion. And he, he had a black man. Only thing he showed was the black man's arm. And he, after he put the sun lotion on the black man, he put, I mean, after he put the sun lotion on himself, he put it on the black man. And he said, those, he said, well, actually, let me just say it like this. He said, as he was putting the lotion on himself, sun lotion on himself, he said, the melanin, uh, the sun, <clears throat> uh, the melanin protects you from the sun rays. And he said, the darker you are, the more protection you have. But even the darker one has to use sun tanning lotion. Now, the, the voice within me reasoned it like this. Caucasian man hasn't been here as long as the black man been here. He just got here a little over 6,000 years ago. And he just invented suntan lotion within the last couple of centuries, or maybe in the last century. And the black man had been here for trillions of years without using any sun tanning lotion at all. And he's still here. We didn't know we had to use sun tanning lotion. But he knew, he, he didn't know either until he started dying from the sun rays. And then he had to invent something to keep him from dying. So now he uses sun tanning lotion. Now, he just trying to sell sun tanning lotion to the black man. And then also putting the idea not to go in the sun. The sun will, will kill you. Right? Now, the inner voice of, of reasoning and the basic knowledge itself made me rationalize that as being an untrue statement that the Caucasian was speaking of. So, brothers, you know, sometimes they be saying things, but they don't hear themselves hear, hear real good when they talk. And it's a contradiction on what they say. But it sounds good to you because the way they say it. So, the black man has, which has been proven two uh, germs within him, the black germ and the brown germ. The Caucasian calls it the, the dominant gene and the recessive gene. Gene means the same thing as germ. But the white man, Caucasian, manipulates terminology. 
to suit him. Because he wants you to think he's superior than, than we are. So he has to divide us up. And through the black man over here in America, this is how he conquers other parts of the world. The black man of America is very photogenic. And he puts us out there, our, our actions and whatever we do in front of the world, in front of the planet, and the whole planet starts following what we, the black man in America, do. So now he got us acting uncivilized amongst ourselves. So what? The whole planet is acting uncivilized. That's why you got wars in it. People that's been into ways of peace for centuries now are in ways of war. So, my role is to unite and make us look into ourselves. What makes us disunited? Jealousy, envy, the lack of having something that we think we need. We don't need nothing except air. That's all we need is air and sunlight. Air, sunlight, and water. That's all. Then fruit, vegetables. Meat is an option. An option. You know, I mean, we, we don't have to have that the main course of our meal. But if we can't do no better, we're going to have to deal with it. You know, if we are in an environment where there ain't nothing else but meat, which is cannibalism, we're going to have to deal with it. But we should be trying to cut down the consumption of meat. But it's a habit with us now. You know, after all these thousands of years, eating meat is a habit. But gradually, we will find out that we don't really need meat. Gradually, we will find out that we don't really need anything but sunlight, air, and water. So, uh, but first, we got to deal with our, con our, our opponent, and that one is, he, 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 this opponent I'm talking about is the Caucasian. He's sort of like our sparring partner, you know. We use him to, sp to spar with to build up our skills with. At one time, he had dominated us with his magic that he stole from us. And so now that we're getting hip to him, you know, we're sparring with him. Those of us, you know, who recognize him for who he really is. Now we know that he's using some of our brothers and sisters against us. That they will soon give themselves away by what they say and do. You know. So I pointed out my point of view and my opinion to who the YouTube. Uh, agents are and I said I wasn't going to speak on them no more 
So now I'm going to point out what's going on with the Caucasian world. So why it's an opportunity for us to unite, fortify, and eventually rule. So this is Black Light Out, and this is the Journey Within series. Peace.